Awake Ones. My name's Lorraine Flaherty. I'm Alexandra Winman. And I'm Sally Points at Nash. And today we're going to be talking to you about pendulums, how you can use them, and uh, all kinds of fun you can have with dowsing in all kinds of different ways, really. I would love a pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> so Sally, you're, you're sporting a particularly spectacular pendulum there. This is so. big. This is big guns. <laughs> um, um, all my pendulums are called George in some way, shape or form. So I have a smaller pendulum. She's gone missing, um, and she is like the feminine. Yes. <laughs> this one <laughs> <laughs> is the masculine. <laughs> Um, head on it, <laughs> <laughs> um, but before I had any pendulums at all, I just was using a necklace, right. um, which I think you know anybody can use a yeah. necklace. I wasn't sure whether it was something that worked for me. I thought it was just you know maybe some people could use a pendulum and others couldn't. Um, so I didn't want to invest in anything and just started yeah. out with a necklace, um, and then picked this one up whilst we were in. Um, LA at the Conscious Life Expo. Yes, it's beautiful. And there's usually a strange relationship with a, a pendulum. And I think in a lot of ways, pendulums kind of choose you mm -hmm. rather than you choose them. And I know that anytime I've bought a pendulum, you know, I've, I've always checked and asked permission. So what, what was it that drew you to, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so, with this one, it, um, again, I, I really like the collection of pendulums that were there. Mm. Um, they were just different to the other ones. And, you know, I'm kind of a super-sized human being standing over <laughs> six foot tall. So, you know, the fact that this one was huge... <laughs> Um, it takes quite a lot of energy to move it mm. and you know sometimes it, its movements are really minuscule because it's like maybe my energy is not tuned in enough or maybe I'm not clear enough to be working with it at that time but when it's giving me definite answers I mean this thing goes really swings um, and I just like the weight of it really um, I don't really like colour Contradiction sitting here today in, uh, in pink. magenta, um, but this one was just clear, and I specifically wanted the clear oh, yes. <laughs> ball on the end. I got a bit OCD about it and kept going back and was like, oh, I can swap it. Um, yeah, it was it was originally blue, blue. It was originally yeah, blue. blue, and then I figured out I could just unclip it and switch it, switch it for a clear one. Um, so yeah, it just I'd asked a few pendulums if they wanted to come home with me. Yeah. Um, they told me no. And I also got one for my husband. He's not that into it, okay. but he does use it. And <laughs> again, I sort of asked four or five of them. This I got his in the UK and, and asked them, you know, are you my husband's pendulum? And it's like, no, no. And the lady who I know works in the shop, she said, I've got a feeling it's this one, and just handed it to me. Um, and it was. It was right. it's, yeah. Um, it's very light. Um, and it's easy for him energetically to work with it. Yeah. So yeah. And yours, are, like I think we've all got very different. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. Pendulums. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and but obviously I sometimes use my necklace as well, particularly if I'm somewhere and I haven't really got time to go rummaging through my bag to to find the pendulum. This is my angel aura spirit quartz that I usually wear around my neck. And again, it's quite weighty, so mm. it's perfect for, for use. And, and so sometimes when I'm working, I suddenly think, oh, I really need to check something. I will just slip it off my neck and, and just give it a little, give it a go. I think there are so many different uses for the pendulum. Yeah. Um, and for anyone who's watching, maybe you've never heard of a pendulum, you've never used a pendulum, maybe you think it's something a bit spooky. Um, I think, you know, Let's do a run through. Mind opens. All of the things that you can put potions mm. in the air or crystals. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a run through of what, you know. Why would you use a pendulum? Um, mm. And kind of the different uses for it. So I mean, I know you use it a lot in your work. 
Well, the, fir- the kind of the primary use, I, I use it, I always say I don't get too dependent on it because you can, mm. if you get dependent on your pendulum, you might find it'll stop working. Yeah, um, or it'll disappear. Or it'll vanish. It's always best to kind of follow your own intuition first. But I do use it to check in with things. If I'm kind of seeing or feeling something coming up in a session, I'll be like, is this happening? So if I, if I give a little demo, so I get it kind of swinging and then you keep your hands still. And I say, right, first of all, am I receiving 100% divine love and light guidance from my higher self through my pendulum? Because my higher self is always my primary guide. And I get a yes. If I feel that there's a bit something a bit off, I'll ask that three times to make sure. Um, and then I'll say, please show me a clear no. Mine's very responsive. It's a very light one. But I have used other ones in the past, like Sally's with crystals and things. And then I'll say, please show me a clear yes. You might have seen it went side to side for no. Back and forth for yes. And this one has a few. um, My previous ones would have the same response for maybe or I don't know or I'm not telling. But this one has two different responses. So we've got a maybe. She goes round and round. She goes round and round in a circle. And I don't know, not telling. You're not allowed to know. You need further information. She'll just stop. Um, she has a name, by the way. This one's called Beatrix. She's caught in my hair now, presently, because she loves me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she has all lovely... I'm just going to zoom in. She has all lovely kind of Celtic designs and a heart. This is very... Um, to me, this one's very um, divine feminine, this pendulum. Yeah. I love it. But sometimes I will also, while I'm clearing energy, swing it round like this. Get a little whirlwind of air going. But it's more just like... I might play with it while I'm thinking or whatever, but yeah, they're, they're, they're great, they're dinky things. I'm always yeah. cautious when spinning this around. Knock someone out. And yeah, I, again, I do think it's the, the pendulum is great to, to reinforce, to clarify, I think, because we should all be trusting our own judgment and our own guidance, but sometimes you're not absolutely sure about something. And so just having a pendulum can just give you just an additional bit of guidance. It, it just, I think, helps you to trust a little bit more. Because I try and make a decision first and then I check the mm. pendulum. I don't, you know, I'll try and tune in and, and get guidance. And, yeah, it's the same thing, really. So, uh, and, 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 you know, do be aware. So, in, interestingly, our, I think our signals for yes and no are the same but your I think yours are different aren't they because yeah. it's different for everybody so yes for me I'd already started asking yes and, and again keeping the arm really really still and and the movement is coming because it's coming through your higher self you know it, it's sort of an idiomotor but your it's, it's a vibration that's moving it so you need to make sure that the hand and the arm is completely still when when you're doing it so I quite often keep my arm quite tightly mm-hmm by my side so that it's not moving so yes is backwards and forwards my no I do a no again it's quite responsive is yeah, from yeah, side yeah, to side yeah, yeah. and then mine like a cruise ship takes a while yeah. to move <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like a cruise yes, my, no. <laughs> my don't know I'm not telling you is clockwise and then my maybe and uh, my, my maybe is anti-clockwise and then if mine just decides that it doesn't want to talk to me, that's when it will yeah. just be absolutely still and it won't move. And that, it's actually quite disconcerting when it refuses to move because you really yeah. know. Mm. It's either I'm not, you know, it, it, it's almost like I'm not answering that question. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, are you being ridiculous? Yeah. Or, or wrong line of questioning. <laughs> or wrong too. line of questioning. And so if it does that, you really know that either you're not allowed to ask about that topic or you need to ask the question in a different way. And you have to be very careful because I know a lot of people say, should I do such and mm. such? And asking a should question is really dangerous because you should or you could do anything and then you'll have a particular outcome. So I always try and frame the question more in the lines of, is this going to be for my highest good? Highest good yeah. Because the pendulum might want you to just go and have an experience so you learn from it. So is it in my highest good is a, a much more helpful way of asking things and of course it can only say yes or no answers so sometimes you have to go through quite a a, a range of questions to actually narrow down to an, an answer that you want so you do have to think about what you're asking sometimes it will just stop as well mm. like 
if it, it could be like you're not meant to know this or wrong line of questioning or but sometimes mine will just stop if you're absolutely on the money about something and you already know yeah. like when we were we were in Egypt and we were there for the 21st of the 12th yeah. 2012 and we were four of us sitting in Lorraine and um, Lorraine's hotel room you've got lights going off around you while I'm talking about it um, and we, we were like sitting there going so when when is this great cosmic moment? We've been to the Great Pyramid and had ceremony in the Great Pyramid and we're sitting in the hotel room. When's the great cosmic moment? Lorraine had her pendulum out. Suddenly the pendulum stopped dead still and at the same moment I went, it's now. <laughs> and then this energy just rushed through all of us, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, it was like this portal had opened. It was just phenomenal and the pendulum was just there going and we're all going. It was amazing. Because <laughs> up to that point it had been swinging quite yeah. actively when we'd been asking lots of questions I think because it, you you are communicating with your higher self and yeah. it's a way to um, kind of validate the instinct that you already have when you ask you know if you're asking things about that you have a lot of emotion around or you know say you're asking about a partner does he love me does she love mm. me you could influence yes the outcome Absolutely. Your emotions and what you want that answer to be yes. could influence that yeah, outcome, for sure. right? Definitely. And also, if you're asking questions that are not related to you, but related to an outcome of an event that involves other people or other you know, external situations, because everybody has free will, and so you're not necessarily going to be able to get the answer for somebody else. It is really only going to give you guidance about your truths and, and answers for you. And I mean, traditionally, again, I think this, this goes back way, way back. So uh, I think one of the, the first times I ever heard about the use of a pendulum was for predicting the, the sex of babies. Mm. So there was a friend of ours who would put a ring on a, on a piece of thread and then she would hold it over the, the, the stomach of somebody that was pregnant and it would go in one direction if it was going to be a boy and it would go in the other direction if it was going to be a girl. And, and from what I remember, she didn't use it for anything else other than that. And if it was just a big dinner, it would... <laughs> <laughs> but apparently she was always accurate. She was always spot on with the pendulum. And I have, over the years since I started using the pendulum, I have done it a few times for, for, for babies and it has always been really accurate but um, it's quite nerve-wracking actually when it's something like well, there is going to be absolute concrete solid evidence at the end of it as mm. to whether or not you were right and it's quite reassuring that uh, you know, even when other people were all adamant that it was going to be a girl and I just said mm -mm, this is a boy <laughs> and even the mother was adamant because of the way she was carrying mm. that it was going to be a girl and it actually absolutely being my pendulum but choices of pendulums as well, I think, other than the ones that you're drawn to, I think it's kind of important to note, and it's interesting, because what, what is, is that, that um, quartz yeah. crystal? Because yeah. you'll find when you're choosing crystals that a lot of them are made of uh, uh, crystals, and, and some of them can be really, really beautiful. But I would suggest that if, it's, uh, if, you, if you're new to exploring them, to be aware that some crystals actually have an energy of their own and can also influence the information that you get. So quartz crystal is really good because it's quite pure. And mm -hmm. so obviously if it's not really coloured, it... it no, mine has gone cloudy. Yeah, though. sometimes and they do, sometimes they, they do show you and they've picked up energy. But for a first one, I think that working with metal ones or even wooden ones can be better because they tend to be quite neutral. Mm. They don't absorb energy of what's going on around them and then their own energy, what, what wow. they pick up, what won't influence. So as a... They're very responsive to the metal ones, aren't they? The metal they're like ones conductors are really of good. energy, so... Yeah. yeah, and I think because they've got quite a nice weight to them, then you can actually feel them moving. But, I mean, again, the best thing to do with them is to try different ones and see which ones you can you like the most you can get upgraded too like your pendulum will often let you know when you've finished working with it yeah. like in the last i think it's only been in the last three years i've had three pendulums and i had my my brass one for a long time bob yeah. 
his name was Bob <laughs> Bob the Brass Penguin. He bobbed around a lot. Um, <laughs> and he just unequivocally said, right, you're done now, you're yeah. done. And what I find as well is that when I get a pendulum upgrade, I also will get new members of my guide team. I know I've had yeah. a new guide step in to work with me too. So from Bob, I went with one different shape to this, but a crystal one called Angel and was working with that one for a long time. And then one day when I was doing a clearing, Angel just flew apart and, and half the crystal flew across the room and I was like, with the bit that was left, am I done working with you? <laughs> yes. And interestingly, I'd had this one for a long time but yeah. hadn't felt compelled already to use right. it yet. And then when I pulled this one out, I was like, do I, I was like, do I need a new pendulum? I kind of got... No, have I already got the new pendulum? Yes, and then I knew it was this one. So Beatrix yeah. has shown herself. Yeah, and I've had the same thing. I originally, I think I had an amethyst one to start with, beautiful purple one, and then I was working with it one day, and then it just literally, it, it almost exploded. <laughs> it just broke into bits. I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're finished. Sad, because they're so beautiful, I know. some of them, and it's like, oh, you're so pretty can't you just stay together <laughs> can't we stay together <laughs> yeah but, the end fell off of my rose quartz one yeah um but it was still working it was still intact it just looked different because the end fell off right um and i actually gave that to michelle when we were on the road oh, yeah. um michelle wanted to start working with the pendulum and she calls it rose and rose is working well with her <laughs> um but yeah rose fell apart for me so yeah yeah, and I do think that's the case. I've, I've sometimes had it where I've had a pendulum and then I'm, I might visit somebody and then you just know, oh. I know, I even <laughs> asked her, I was like, do you want to stay with me? And she's like, no. And it's like, oh, go to Michelle then. <laughs> yeah, but they do seem to have a, a life of their own. Bob's gone to Tony now, but Tony's resisting, this is my husband, he's resisting working with Bob. <laughs> so I've like placed, do you, I asked Bob, are you mine? No. Do you want to go to Tony? <laughs> yes. So, okay, but he, and then I tried to get husband to work with the pendulum. Would it work? <laughs> Would it not? And you can resist it too. Like if you don't want it to work, you can will it not to work. And he's just stood there, stood there going, <laughs> Capricorn, very logical, very proud. Doesn't believe in the magic. Well, kind of does, but doesn't, you know. So then I kind of put Bob in his pouch and put him next to Tony's side of the bed. And I said, Bob is there should you need him. You don't have to tell me that you're going to be using the pendulum. <laughs> As and when it, the fancy takes you, it's there. Anyway, it's not there anymore, and he's squirreled it away in his little man tin. <laughs> so he's in with all the, like, tools. <laughs> it, is a, and it is a tool, really. It is. Yeah. It is a tool that you can yeah. use. And uh, obviously we, because we're going to be running a, a workshop on the 12th of May. On the 12th of May in London. And we are going to be sharing lots of different ways in which you can use the pendulum and lots of other techniques as well, because we don't always need to use a, a, a physical pendulum. There are all kinds of other things that, that you can do to actually tune in and get insights and answers and, and clarity. <laughs> so, what, uh, one of the techniques that I take my clients through actually in sessions, it's a good way of getting people to tune in to their own intuition and their, their, their gut feeling I suppose, is to ask, you know, people come to me and go, what should I do about this? I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not going to answer that question, <laughs> it's your decision. So I just say, right, tune in, I get them to either place their attention in their heart or their solar plexus, it's the old gut feeling. Um, I get them to visualize a pillar of light or white light around themselves and tune into their feeling awareness, so the, the emotional intelligence of the body and the, the, the feelings and the sensations in the body. And then as they close their eyes, I say, right, ask your higher self to show you what a clear yes answer feels like in your body, with your, with your physical sensations in your body or your energy in your body. And um, they will often, you know, I'll say like, get the, get the clear feeling, say yes, 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 until you feel a sensation in the body, you know, like, you got that, yes. So for me, I get like a, almost a feeling of excitement, it's like a positive welling up and an expansion of energy, I feel like an opening, um, and I'm like, oh, that feels good, like a yes. 
um, sometimes I get a roaring in my ears, like when I get really excited, it's like, like roaring in the ears, almost like a yawn. Um, and then I'll say, right, so then ask, go back to neutral, just go back to your white light, and then ask for a clear no, 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 and feel how it feels in the body. And with me personally, it will be different for everyone, the sensation might be different, but with me personally, I feel like a contraction of energy, sometimes a tightening in the gut, like a tightening in the in the stomach area, and I'll get just get a feeling of, mm, it doesn't feel right, no. And then that's a way that you can navigate if there's a big decision that you need to make, or say you're going for like a job and you don't know whether it's the right job for you or something like that, you can say, right, higher self, does is this in my highest and best interest to go for this job or to accept this job and feel if it feels right, feel if it feels yes and expansive, if it's your yes vibration or if it's your no vibration. We use it all the time when we're driving places. It's like, hmm, what are you feeling? Hmm. <laughs> left, left, excellent, left, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, but you, we also use it in restaurants as yeah, well. We do. What do I, body, what would I like for dinner? <laughs> Is it this? Is it this? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. But I think my strongest senses are my um, clairsentience and my claircognizance. Yeah. And, and cognizance. Yeah. Um, but the the knowing, I kind of forget that other people don't just know. Right. Yeah, um, I know. I just. Yeah. That's how it is, and there is no questioning, I suppose. But and for me, the pendulum is a great way of, you know, just checking you're not an ego maniac. <laughs> <laughs> I just know this is what I'm supposed to do. It's like, but what I, is it? Like, how do I know? I think when yeah. there's no way of quantifying, yeah. and it, is it my brain? I've had just got a bit mad. <laughs> it's a great way for me to be like, okay, and my gut feeling, it's never let me down, so I don't know why I feel the need to check in on it. Yeah. But yeah, the pendulum it is, it, it's a great tool to have in your kit. Yes, um, absolutely. What about but, you, Laurie? What but, other techniques? Ah, oh, we might need to keep them keep secret. Keep some secret. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for tools and techniques. But again, one of the things that uh, we quite often do, because sometimes when you talked about it being an emotional topic, sometimes you do get personal interference mm. with the messages. And so, I mean, we do. It, it's it's not that uncommon for us to call somebody up and go, can you, have you got your pendulum out? Really? Could you just double check for me? I and then message me going, uh, anyone got the pendulum on them right now? <laughs> And then you know, across the country, there are you know many pendulums all swinging at the same the time, world. <laughs> like a global pendulum. Even um, Michelle helps out, doesn't yeah. she, from over yeah. in the US? It's yeah. just like, yeah. 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 I'm still awake. I've got it. Because yeah. <laughs> sometimes you need just that extra little bit of reassurance, especially if it is something that is very important to you. You need a second opinion. Mm. Actually, when you know it's that gut intuitive higher self-guidance that's coming through there's there's nothing like the, the clarity from that i use it as well to to if i'm doing like house clearing space clearing it will show you a positive or negative charge in an area as well yeah sometimes and then you know um you can just use it to to figure out oh do i need to do a little cleanse on this area um which is probably something that the girls are going to be showing how yeah. to do in the workshop as well, how to clear your space um, using and ascertain how to do that with the pendulum as well. Very handy little tool to have in your toolkit and it makes yeah. a lovely pair of ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things I've seen is people using these questions and grids and... Yeah, oh, yes, lots of like little maps of things. I, don't, I, I just don't... Uh, I don't see the point in using that when you can just ask the question yeah um i think it i think i mean my my kind of sense of it is that it will help to kind of narrow down what questions you need to I ask suppose if, yeah. yeah again i just yeah. take it for granted this knowing yeah. and and you know others aren't wired the same yeah so. i can i i think because in my sessions i'm tuning in psychically a lot I can see the benefit of having, I've seen them where they're a bit like a dial, yes. you can have one that so goes from naught to 100% of how true something is and you can check and then you can go through layers of it or you can check for things in the energy field 
And I think it's a good way of doing it without having to really link in psychically all the time because that can get a little bit tiring at times. Um, mm. So I think it's a good way of quickly checking as well, like, and if there's further digging to do to get to ascertain, look at this, it's doing it. Mm. Yeah, because you were talking about talking it. They're very responsive. Yeah. And they are very responsive. And also I do have to say that sometimes pendulums have a sense of humour and they can be quite cheeky. Mm. Because I remember a couple of years ago, I was in Las Vegas, and the person that I was with said, oh, have you got your pendulum? And I said, yes. Now, I'm not a gambling person anyway. And I was over there to <laughs> film uh, an interview, which was for the uh, um, light broadcast show, something out there, a uh, the virtual light broadcast show. And, and I said, well, I have. And she said, well, let's use it to do some gambling. <laughs> and I said, look, I really don't think that my pendulum is going to be up for that. I mean, you know, it's like doing lottery numbers and mm. stuff like that. It's, no, that's just cheeky. That's not what the energy is for. And she said, oh, go on, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And I said, I'm already t I already know that it won't like it. And she said, just, just have a go. She said, look, we'll just go and do some roulette. We, we can work out what the numbers are going to be, what the colour it's going to be. You know, we won't do a lot of money. We'll just put a bit of a bet on it. And I said, okay, all right, look, I'll try. I said, I'll give it a go. So I checked with the pendulum and I said, look, is it okay, you know, for me to actually ask questions about the roulette table? And it said, no. And I said, well, look, that's the end. She said, no, 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 just, just go on. So kind of against my better judgment, I said, oh, look, you know, come on, come on, Pendulum, please. Can you give me some answers? And then it said, yes. And I thought, oh, okay. It's <laughs> a bit of a change of mind. Okay. So I go through the thing and I say, you know, is the colour red? And it says, no, it's black. And I said, okay. And then I start going through the numbers. So is the number above 50? Or is it? No. So it's below 50. So anyway, so I, I whittle it down. And then I managed to get to black 16. And it was absolutely clear, black 16, black 16, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and so I thought, okay, here we go. So we pulled out uh, $20 each and we headed over and we, were gonna, we bought some chips and we were going to go to the roulette table. And we got to the first roulette table and I scrolled down the thing, 16 was red on the table. And I thought, okay, all right, you're having a laugh with me now. And then we went to the next table and I thought, well, maybe it's different on another every table in this entire casino black uh, 16 was red and it my pendulum obviously knew and that was its way of just having a complete joke with me because mm. black 16 did not exist and it served me right because i shouldn't have tried to use it for gambling purposes mm. not the right energy no, no. no. so I was, I was quite proud actually that day of my pendulum <laughs> It was right. <laughs> Lesson learned. Exactly. Yeah. Wouldn't do that again. Always, always have the yeah. highest of integrity yeah. and respect. Yes. Well, it's your higher self, isn't it? it yeah. is so it's self. working yeah. from a. It's not working from a place of winning a lottery. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Otherwise, a lot of people would be very rich if right. that were the case. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's it's about having a, a, a good and a pure intention. Otherwise, they do just ignore you. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely though. And okay. yeah. I totally recommend it. It's fun as well. Yeah. You can learn a lot about yourself through a pendulum. You can. <laughs> you can. Absolutely. I did um, I did a dowsing workshop a few years ago and I found out so much information about a past life, which was something that I hadn't even thought of before, about how you could kind of narrow down and just ask the, the, the questions of the pendulum. So yeah, there's all kinds of things you can learn. Well, I don't think that's all we have time for. Yes. So on that note, is it time is to it finish? Time to <laughs> yes. Yes. Is there anything else we need to talk about? No. no. Have you enjoyed the show? <laughs> yes. yes. Me too. <laughs> thank you, Pendulum, for your presence. Thank you, Pendulum. And thank you all thank for, you watching for watching Awake Ones. <laughs>